let's talk about Civil War. So it takes place in a dystopian America where all the states are divided into different factions and they're all going to war with each other. But the movie's primary focus is the Western forces. That's Texas and California teaming up, I know, in your dreams, right? To go to D.C. and overthrow the government and kill the president. I think this was a good way of unifying the audience, you know, get a, a blue state, get a red state, Republicans and Democrats working together to overthrow a common enemy, the U.S. government. Highly unlikely this will ever happen, but hey, I appreciate the effort. Three photojournalists that are trying to get to D.C. to interview the president. And along this long journey, they run into good people and they run into not so good people. They see a lot of violence and carnage, are stuck in a lot of dangerous situations, a lot of close calls. They see a lot of death. And by the way, you don't know anyone's political affiliation. This movie takes place in the middle of the war, not the beginning. You don't know how or why it started. You don't know the president's politics. You don't know any of the main characters' politics, which is probably the best thing to do because you don't want to alienate half your audience. The set pieces, the set designs are all really good. This movie is visually beautiful looking. It did get a little confusing because you don't exactly know who's killing who, which state exactly is going to war with what other state. You exactly know who's affiliated with who. Maybe they'll elaborate more of that in the sequel if they ever make one. By the way, we all remember Jesse Plemons from the trailer. You remember? What kind of American are you? This is the most intense, most nail-biting scene in the movie. He's only in one scene. He's only on screen for like maybe three minutes, but he steals the show. I think this is A24's most expensive movie, and I like it. I give it a thumbs up. That's all I gotta say about this, and I'll catch you later.